In this video, we will explore recording and explain everything. When you start a new explain everything file, it's important to save it right away. Let's say that three students are working together on this project of the life cycle of a butterfly. We're going to put the project name in and the students' first names. In order to save it, click on the folder with the arrow going down. I'm going to put in the project name and my three students that are working on it, Susie, Sally, and Bobby, and I'm going to hit save. So now I have saved my project right at the beginning. To save time, I've already inserted my pictures and my text on each slide. So I have four slides to get started with and I've added all my images and my text. I would suggest that students record information in chunks. You can record, pause the recording, and continue with your recording and explain everything. There's also the ability to re-record over what you have recorded previously. The great thing about Explain Everything is the ability to have multiple slides so you can record pieces on each slide. I'm going to show you a couple of different options when it comes to recording. The first option is I have everything that I want on my slide and I just want to do a voiceover on the slide. So all I would need to do is click on the red circle when I'm ready to record and when I'm done recording I can tap it again to pause. So I'm going to demonstrate this. In this stage, the butterfly lays the eggs on a leaf. The shape depends on the butterfly. This stage lasts three to four days. All I had to do was tap on the red circle again and it paused my recording. In order to listen back to my recording, I need to press the green triangle. In this stage, the butterfly lays the eggs on a leaf. The shape depends on the butterfly. This stage lasts three to four days. Now that I finished that piece of my recording, I have a couple of different options. One option is to continue recording on this slide and I can add to my recording. Or if I need to re-record, that's an option as well. So I'm going to add to my recording. So I'm going to hit the red circle and then when I'm done recording, I'll hit it one more time. Here I am adding to my previous recording. So now my recording is longer than the first one. I have 19 seconds now on this slide. So I added to my recording. Say I need to re-record. There's a couple of different options for re-recording. If I tap on the time here, this actually shows me my timeline of recording. If I need to just to re-record that second part, I can find the spot where I need to re-record and I can start recording from here. So if I hit the red circle, it's going to now give me an, a prompt and it's going to say starting recording now will replace the existing recording on the current slide from now on 12 seconds. Do you want to continue? So you guys will see that I'm going to re-record over that last part. I'm recording again that second piece of my recording. recording again that second piece of my recording. So you can pick where at on the slide you want to re-record over and it will re-record from that point on to the end. If I need to re-record the whole thing over again, what I can do is I can hit this rewind button right here and I'm back to zero and I can hit record again and it will say starting recording now will replace the existing recording on the current slide from now on starting at the zero point. Do you want to continue? So yes, I want to record the whole entire thing again. Now I have the ability to re-record my entire slide if I want to. Another way that I can record and explain everything is to write and record my voice at the same time. So in this example, I was writing and recording my thoughts at the same time. First, I'm going to ask myself, how many times does 2 go into 4? 2 goes into 4 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. 
4 minus 4 is 0. Time to bring down the 9. And repeat. Another option for recording and explain everything is to insert images or objects and manipulate them while I'm recording my voice for an explanation. This is a penny. It's worth one cent. This is a nickel. It's worth five cents. This is a dime. It's worth ten cents. And this is a quarter. It's worth 25 cents. This is a plant cell. This right here is the cell wall. And this is the nucleus. We're going to watch my recording. I'm going to hit the play button. This is a plant cell. This right here is the cell wall. And this is the nucleus. Another option for recording is to use the laser pointer while you're recording to explain a concept. The six is in the ones place. The four is in the tens place. One helpful thing to note is the timing of inserting images. If you want all images to appear throughout the recording on your slide, be sure to have them all on the slide before you start voice recording. If you start recording and insert them in later, the images may not appear until the end of the recording. It's always good to have a plan. Students and teachers may want to ask themselves, what do we want to see on our slide? What do we want to manipulate? What do we want to demonstrate? And what do we want to say? Planning can be done on a storyboard or a graphic organizer by students or teachers.